What is up, guys? I'm Mikey at 31 here. Madden 15. Yes, I still play. <laughs> I haven't done an online league video in a bit. I've still been playing them, um, but I haven't done a, I haven't done any stream announcements in quite some time. Um, well, not quite some time, like a couple of weeks. But a lot of things have been going on at the same time. But I'll get back to that. Those of you who have been watching have been watching me play very, very poorly. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a rut that I'm trying to get my way out of. But here we are in the Sim Standard Radio League um, playoffs now. Season 1 is concluded. Jacksonville Jaguars had a very good regular season. And I'm against Sim F Ball Critic and his Pittsburgh Steelers in the um, divisional round of the playoffs. Let's see if I can get these Jags rolling. Well, I've gotten them rolling for the most part pretty well. Um, what I've been doing on defense is I've been trying to replicate a Seattle Seahawks style 4-3 under front as best as the game will allow me to do it. A lot of single high safety. I'm playing out of the Seattle Seahawks um, defensive playbook and also organizing my depth chart the way the Seahawks um, play their 4-3 system. And I'll go into that in video form on how you can replicate that in a little bit, probably this weekend. And it works very well. It works really well. I should also be streaming a league game or two tonight before the um, Pac-12 playoff game. We're getting to the point where things get really fun in both the NFL and the college football world. The month of November is coming on. December we have the uh, championship games, the uh, playoffs, and the bowls will be set. And in the NFL, we're getting to these crunch time, regular season December games where a lot... Look at that nice spin move by... Um, I think that was Vin Curry or Alvin Branch. But anyhow... The NFL world, you're having these, you know, big time December crunch time games that are determining division titles, seeding, and playoff spots. And in online league world, in the playoffs in this season, well, not in this league rather, and in season one, and there are still openings here in this league. It's a very good league. These leagues are great fun. I'm in a bit of a um, unfortunate spell of bad play, taking L's at the moment. But that's okay. This is where the best competition is at. You know, the online ranked world is a cesspool of cheesers, nerds, and degenerates. And really, it's a joke. The leaderboard's a fraud. Um, I'm going to upload a video in a little bit as well of me playing a guy who's ranking something like 800 on the leaderboard. And, you know, online ranked gaming is a monkey see, monkey do environment. And... I have my best games, my best experiences, my best competition here in these leagues. Now, I say that online ranked is where you see the worst of the game in these sim leagues. This is where you see, in my opinion, the best of these games. And there's a lot of good sim leagues out there. You can find them on OperationSports.com. Um, you can find them on the EA Sports website. I think you can, at least. And also, if you want to join in the Sims Standard Radio League here, contact Azure Effect, and, you know, you can find a spot. There are some spots open still. So come join the fun and free yourself from the online ranked shenanigans. But this game here is a pretty tight affair. It's 3-3. And with the Jags in Season 1, I just hope for a couple of things. One is that someone does not figure out that they can just run all over them anytime they feel like it, and two, that my offensive line just does not completely break down. Those are the two main weaknesses that you see right here. I'm forced into a very short, very basic passing game because my offensive line just does not hold up, and there, some F-ball critic hits me up with a nice trail concept. I almost get there. I saw it. I saw it late, though. I couldn't quite get there to make the user INT, but... You know, he's doing some very good things with Le'Veon Bell. You know, he meets Paul Puzz there. I try to user tackle him, and he leans forward for a couple more yards. And here, actually do a pretty good job there with Dakota Watson holding the edge. But second and nine, we're able to hold him to a short gain there. Third and five, 
Good play there. First Clemens, who had 16 sacks in the regular season, needs to, you know, make his impact felt, and there he ties the game up. So 10-10, we're in the fourth quarter, and again, my worst nightmare with this team is when the offensive line breaks down. And here again, Sam Baker on your left just does not pick up the zone blitzer. You know, two sacks in three, in three plays, not the way you want to go. Getting a little bit more stout, I have to bring more numbers. Um, I do have the Jags set up as best as I can to have beef along the front seven. And the way the Seattle Seahawks system works, the way their under front works, what they do, I'll get into this in more detail, is they have three stout run-plugging defensive linemen and their Leo pass rush specialist flexed out in a Y9 type of alignment. And there are a couple of formations that kind of replicate that a little bit. And then they bring in their speed rushers and their nickel and dime sets. But here I am, I have a chance to win this sucker. I'm trying to get into field goal range. And again, wide receiver screens and a little bit of an air raid passing attack going on with the shallow crosses. Toby Gerhardt doing some rumbling. I like Toby. Good, solid, working light guy. And I'm at the 35-yard line, 34-yard line. I have a little, little bit of a headwind in front of me, but I think Scobie can hit this game winner. The kick is up, and it is going to bounce off the crossbar and up and up and out. So no good. We go to overtime and get the ball first. So let's see if I can win this sucker. Four verts. I anticipated man zone. I got man, so I just hit the check down. I got no press releases off the outside or in the middle of the field. And here I make a mistake. A terrible mistake. I thought that route was going to cut underneath. I didn't think it was going to go that deep. And I throw the INT, and all Smith Ball has to do is kick a field goal. He's taking a little bit of a risk running some plays here, so I'm just trying to get my linebacker free and get a hit stick in there and hope for the best, but I can't. So now he's just getting closer and closer. I get sealed off. No one else does a big hit for me. And it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. He runs outside, I can't get off the block, and I am going to be eliminated. So, the Jacksonville Jaguars season comes to an end. It's time to gear up for Season 2 and see who I can sign in free agency and who I can draft and make another run in Season 2. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you all later. Peace.